So, hey guys, Chelsea here. I just thought I'd showcase Croc a bit, like I'm very excited to use him too. He's a very cool legend with one of the most busted specials so far. I like to say that his special is like the first 2023 unit because I don't see any reality where a uh, three times shame boundary special for three turns is remotely okay. That's such a huge power creep gap that is insane. Of course, Croc is held back by other things, but yeah, that's very really an insane special that will be good for a long time to come. But yeah, I'm going to showcase we to Croc against two teams here. The first one will be against uh, Arena Ashura Doji, which, as I've said many times, is the Hardest content released in OPTC for the last one plus year. They've just not got much hard content and this is basically it. Pretty hard to team mill with at least coming up with new stuff. But I'm pretty happy with this. Like it's not the most original thing ever. But it's still decently cool. The main issue with this content is that there's just so much you have to deal with. That it can be pretty rough. It's actually been a few days since I made this recording, I've just not done the voiceover yet. So I honestly don't remember everything I do, like I remember that Pudding helps remove paralysis here. Pudding will also help reduce CD the next stage. And of course Crocodile is a Monos Rebro captain. He can boost other types too, but if you can avoid it, you should. Uh, one cool part of we to croc that I haven't made much use of yet is the fact that when you hit against color finish you are guaranteed a matching orb and that's a super cool boon bonus like his kit doesn't really revolve around it but it very much very well cooled in some situations so I use we want Duffy here on this stage together with Frank Captain crocodile and yeah Duffy can use Caesar support, of course, so this lets us get around their resilience. And yeah, we just have so much damage that we just 1k both of them. Uh, Croc super type sp uh, super class special is very nice too, to handle the orbs. But yeah, for this stage, for last stage I didn't really need it for that. It was more like, let me carry over the shame boundary to this stage. Yeah, I use Law Special, we get the increased damage taken, we get the Chain Boost from Sengoku, Full War of Matching Orbs from Sengoku, also an Attack Boost. And yeah, we don't even have another real buff, but we still easily kill. And I set up for Law's final tap, which can go through Resilience. This is the first time I've made use of it. I'm not a super big fan of it in general, but... When you overkill, it's pretty easy to set up, so it works. So yeah, Croc's Shame Boundary. Now I can use Weaver and Becca. Get the damage. Croc Super Claw Special for Ormany. And yeah, very easy team. And yeah, I don't really see Croc being a legend that will struggle against much content. So yeah, moving on, we're going to do Croc versus Croc. And obviously the Arena Crocodile is a quick focus content, so using Dex Captains puts you at a pretty big disadvantage since you're guaranteed at least two units who won't really do any damage at all. <coughs> to add to the problem, I'm also using an Int unit and a Strength unit. So I only have two quick units on the team. Both are uh, dual units, it's Law and Chopper and Vivian Rebecca V2. And yeah, this is the second team I use with Vivian Rebecca with Croc. They are just one of the best subs to them because Croc does a Shame Boundary special and Shame Multiplier and uh, Shame Boundary has a very interesting relationship. I made a video about this in the past. It basically lets you start a quite insane starting chain. And then you still have the Shame Multiplier giving you higher Multiplier with every perfect you hit than you normal. Uh, as for the other units like Law and Chopper, 
We let me handle paralysis on several stages, and we also have support to handle uh, bind and the spear. And yeah, Marco was pretty funny. Like, it's not like he was super needed, but I really wanted to try out my new support a bit more. So I'm running Marco with the new A support for burn. And of course, burn is very good for stage four of Arena Crocodile. See, I stall one turn here. Uh, Lawn Chopper switches are very precise here. I am with two swaps left to super swap. Do a crocodile super claw special and use croc special. Chain boundary this stage and next stage as well as attack boost. Chopper swap to get rid of the paralysis and this will be a very easy kill. See, so yeah, we still got the chain boundary for this stage. So yeah, we're going to use Law and Chopper special here to get rid of the Bind and the Spear. The special do actually remove the Spear, but we remove the Bind with the Nami support. And yeah, we use Marco now, more healing, some extra color affinity, Ace for burn. And I'm pretty sure we use Crocodile Superclass special for the block, yes. And yeah, doing damage there is usually not okay, because if you damage the mobs, you can't kill Robin in two turns. But since we have burn, it doesn't matter. And yeah, as I talked about in my Ace Showcase video, Ace's burn is a bit is the weakest burn we have really, so it doesn't kill the mobs in one turn. Which is a bit of a weakness, but in the end, any support doing burn is just busted in itself. As well as all the other utility ace does. Uh, I could have probably improved the order I hit there to kill everything right away. But it didn't really matter. So yeah, final stage. And we're going to swap with Becca for the Chain Multiplier. Use their special to remove special bind, attack boost, or boost. And I'll also for color affinity. That's such a good combo. That's 1.5 times color affinity too. Mr. Uh, Crocodile special with Miss One support. We get Chain Boundary and uh, Chain Boost. Together with the Chain Multiplier, so we're going to hit insane chains. And then Zengoki just removes the attack down. So yeah, very easy kill. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.